At 11, this was earlier, Christian Bezatenhout, second shot, second hole of the day. Well, Good. a little different win for these players, Paul, into their face, but a different hole location. It's pretty accessible. You should be able to get a stop by the hole. Great shot by him. Will it stay on the green? Yeah. Nice swing. So, club ball coming down. And here is his attempt for Eagle on a hole where he made Eagle yesterday as he shot 68. Well, things are happening fast out here. If you he made that putt, all of a sudden he goes into third place and just two back of the lead. If you, you know, I, I like to feel like in these conditions, if you have a shot shape, like Morikawa has a shot shape, he cuts every ball. That helps in both wins. Here at 16, Christian Bezadenhout going for this green in two. This was just a moment ago. Bezadenhout at five under. He got cleared the tree and he's going to get some help there bouncing forward. That is a very nice leave, actually. Back here at 16, Bezadenhout, his third shot to the par five and just that closely mown area going with Potter. Good choice, I believe. He's a very good putter. Doesn't hit it long. He's one of the shorter hitters out here, actually. Trying to get to six under and three back. No problem there. He's got a beautiful putting stroke. On the ground to the left. Up in the air to the right and in a little bit. Yeah, there you go. This looks nice. Okay. Yeah, you're unnerved by 17. I don't care who you are tonight. They'll be thinking about it for tomorrow and uh, they were thinking about it last night for today. That'd be a nice shot on Sunday, Paul. Yeah, Wouldn't it? with that whole location. Yeah, maybe a one. First eight greens today in regulation. Pretty large hill to go up. How do you like that? That's beautiful. Yeah. There's a few short par fours. I mean, I think you're still trying to break par today, but there's going to be a lot of huge mistakes. There's going to be some train wrecks. But Zadeno making the turn. Tough shot. That rough is really thick. It came out. Looks like OK. Oh, yeah. That's going to run out. Oh, how good is this going to turn out? Oh, man. <laughs> He's got a good look at birdie along with now this to get to seven under. Boy, the line on his the shaft of his putter up his arm is identical and he can roll his rock still bogey free converts that predicament at the first. Boy, is it quiet over here on this part of the golf course or what? After being over there at 1617 that'll be in that closely mown. Plenty of green to work with here. Took a look as it went by. Yeah, good putt. I talked to his coach Jeff Smith the other day. He said the next step in his evolution is to get longer. He's short off the tee. Yeah, Paul, that's what we were talking about earlier with Lucas Glover on that Wednesday. If you hit the fairway here, it's go zone. But if you hit it in the rough, look out. So now ball first here, hands forward. And I would say this has got to be out to the right. Huge slope in the middle of the green. If you hit it, it could get real close to the hole. Yeah, you go. And a little bit more. That should funnel nicely. Yeah. I don't know if it's ever good to be in a divot. That didn't look too bad, Steve. That looked yeah. like it, it wasn't down there. There wasn't sand behind the ball. Yeah, look at that. You know, it wasn't bad behind the ball, which is the most important thing. Yeah, you got good clean contact. See that sand explode and look at that. Now you don't want to hit it in there. Well, and there you go to eight under par. It was a little more than seven feet. He's now seven of eight this week on the greens from four to eight feet. And he has that lead to himself once again. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch more, click here. To subscribe, click here.